Hi, this is Joe with Vortex Optics, here today to talk to you about our Vortex Solo Monocular. The Vortex Solo Monocular comes in several different sizes, an 8 and 10 by 36, I have the 8 by 36 here in my hands, as well as an 8 and 10 by 25. So let's take a minute and walk you through the features and benefits of this sweet little optic. All right, we're gonna walk you through the Vortex Solo Monocular right now. I'm gonna walk you through the 36 millimeter here, which has the utility clip, and I've got the 25 millimeter here for reference. The first thing you're gonna notice is that these are very small and lightweight. They come in at under five inches, and both of them are under 10 ounces. So starting at the front of the Solo, all the optics are fully multi-coated, which just means you're increasing the light transmission as well as the resolution, giving you those clear, crisp images that you're looking for. They are fully rubber armored, which means they're extremely durable. There's also no alignment issues that you have to worry about. In a binocular, you've got two barrels, whereas in the Solo, you just have one. Internally, they are nitrogen purged and O-ring sealed, which means they're waterproof and fog proof. Again, on the 36 millimeter, we have this uh, unique utility clip, which makes it extremely versatile. On the sides here, you've got a spot for a lanyard, which does come with the Solo. And we've got the focus wheel here, and then we have a twist and lock eye cup on the top here. So if you had eyeglasses, you'd have it in the down position as you're seeing here. Or if you didn't have eyeglasses, you'd have it twisted back. All right, that's gonna cover it for the Vortex Solo Monocular. If you're looking for a small, lightweight, versatile optic for your next adventure, I strongly urge you down to your local Vortex authorized dealer and check out one of these today. As with all of our monoculars, the Solo comes standard with our VIP warranty, which is our unlimited, unconditional, lifetime guarantee. Hey, what's up guys? This is Doug from Carson Optical, and today we're going to check out a really cool, super compact monocular called the Close-Up. The Close-Up is an ultra-portable, six-power monocular that has the unique ability to focus on things as close as 10 inches away. The lenses on the Close-Up are fully coated. A fully coated lens helps with light transmission, allowing for better performance in low-light situations. It also helps reduce glare and makes for a really clear image. If you're going hiking or just going for a walk, you're most likely going to want to pack light. The close-up weighs less than two ounces and will allow you to see all the cool things nature has to offer up close. But it's also like carrying around a portable field microscope. We've included a wrist strap to prevent you from dropping the device. We've also included a carrying case for added protection. It showed up today. This is my monocular. That's what they call it, a monocular. I guess you can call it half of a binocular. Here's what comes with the monocular. You get the directions. Who reads them, right? But what I noticed after reading them, they use the word forbidden to clean the inner parts of the monocular. Forbidden. It zooms in on various different items from far, far away. This holder connects to your phone. This particular one comes with a compass. Anyways, uh, here's the front lens cover it's rubberized the covers kind of a rubber texture but I'm going to show you the difference between your camera zoom and I'm going to zoom in way on top of that mountain up there there's a tree okay and I'll zoom in on my camera so 
Here's the camera zoom. Takes a second to uh, clear up. That same tree, right oh, up there, the tallest one. So that's it, let's uh, hook it up and I'll show you the same zoom. Okay, so that's with the uh, telephoto lens or the monocular. What we have is the phone hooked up, not zoomed in totally yet, but you can see that tree right in the middle of the uh, frame. And I'm gonna zoom in on that now. Okay, so you saw what it looked like. Here's another reminder. This is with the phone. So we're gonna zoom in. I don't know, what do you think? It's a little grainy. It is definitely clearer and closer. Back to the camera. And now we're back to the telephoto lens. I don't know, there you go. It'll be okay with some video shots, I guess.